in case 562027 that the defendant shall serve a term of three years, years which is the minimum, on count one of that. As to count two in that case, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree, it is ordered that the defendant shall serve a term of two years in prison on that count. As to count three of that case, the robbery, which is also a felony of the second degree, the court uh, orders that the defendant shall serve a term of two years on that count as well. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. It's not as bad as you think it is. Come on. Tony, come on. On the sole count of the indictment in case 564206, the felony of the third degree, the court orders that the defendant shall serve a term of nine months in prison on that count. All of these terms are going to be served concurrently, which means that the defendant is, in effect, going to spend three years in prison. As part of your sentence, Mr. Farmer, you are subject upon your release from prison to a period of post-release control to be supervised by the adult parole authority. On the felony of the first degree uh, conviction, this is mandatory and it's for a period of five years. On the felony two convictions, that is felonious assault and robbery, this is a mandatory term and it's for a period of three years. And on the intimidation of a crime victim, this is for a period of up to three years and is discretionary on the part of the adult parole authority. If you